Hello Libra, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. How are you Libra? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you and uh, Libra, I'm here with a couple of decks. We're going to use the Kipper, we're going to use the Lenormand, we're going to try that first, get some energies and then we're going to hit it with the Tarot and find out what's coming out for you in the week ahead Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. If you are a brand new Libra and you're just tripping over this uh, this uh, shenanigans here, this fun, then I hope that you will stay. There is a subscription button in the bottom right hand corner if you're interested in staying. We like to have a little bit of fun in the comments. So if you're looking for a community, you have found one, Libra. Um, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter, that's what we're looking at here for the week ahead. It's always for the week ahead. Ooh, look at that. We've got a message. And more for Libra. All right, courtship. Interesting. We've got distant horizons. What's going on over here? Libra got the house some sort of a decision here um we've got a message oh a message is coming that a decision has been made it feels like there is somebody here libra it could be you or it could be somebody else but someone who i feel is is thinking about getting some sort of stability by maybe asking someone to you know it feels like this is the this is the um someone that you maybe have um seen a couple times maybe you've been out with them a few times it feels like um the courtship is like we've had conversations together. I'm really not sure this little cherub doesn't even have a, doesn't, the cherub is, is um, sort of thinking like, hmm, hand to the chin. Like, is this going to work out? Um, it feels like there is somebody here who's quite wealthy, I want to say. Somebody who's been very fortunate with material wealth. And I feel like this is the person who's making a decision. And so that could be you or that could be someone else who's making a decision about you. But it does feel like that there is something here that you're going to be leaving behind or some really heavy energy that you're going to be dropping here. Maybe it's a cycle, but it, it's, you know, the anchor is here and it's detached from the ship. Then the ship is flying in the air. So it feels like the distant horizon is your destination and that you are leaving behind anything that was really heavy got card number 36 which is a nine um i feel like uh you have enough wisdom to know when it's time to go when it's time to drop the heaviness leave the heaviness behind and go into something new i feel like you're getting some type of opportunity that's what it feels like here tell me about libra or maybe you're giving the opportunity libra don't take that off the table either um tell me about libra Tell me about Libra. It feels like this is something brand new if this is a relationship for you. It feels like you've met somebody recently, maybe within the last 30 days, maybe even 20 days, maybe the last week. It could be. Seven days is here. Um, so it feels like there. it is somebody who's quite wealthy. Card number four is the emperor. So it is somebody who's you know already stabilized themselves. They do have this really big house. This person is you know could be the feminine or the masculine who is the emperor. Take it as it resonates. Somebody is about to... Um, Connect with somebody else via a message and give them some sort of a, an offer. Something's flipped here. Hang on. Oh, we have the cage. One more. All right. One more, please. There we go. Bottom of the deck, we do have the, um, what's it called? It's not a sepulcher. It is a sarcophagus. That's what it is. All right. The sarcophagus is the place where the ancient uh, Egyptians used to bury their dead. They would put them in the sarcophagus and then they would bury them below a pyramid or in a family room or something like that, a building that was erected in, in, in honor of their dead. Um, so I feel like something is coming to an end for you because eight is about the self or about putting the hard work into something. Maybe you've put the hard work into ending some sort of a cycle in your life. And I think it's a it's a cycle of poverty. Maybe it's not poverty. Maybe it's just living week to week or month to month or barely making the ends meet. It feels like some, some sort of change of fortune is coming for you here. The nine of pentacles is on the bottom right hand corner. Um, the nine of diamonds, right? We do have a uh, card number 38. Yeah, it does feel like some Somebody here is about to reach out because the, the bridge is something that you build in order to be able to um, be able to walk freely towards somebody else. So it feels like somebody has built a bridge or is, you know, the bridge that maybe they've been building is maybe we've been seeing each other off and on. Maybe we've been meeting for coffee, going out for walks. It feels like it's very brand new. We've been sitting in the park talking like it feels like something very brand new here. Somebody has been slowly building a bridge to your heart. It feels like with the swans, they do mate for life. There is a heart here. We do have the the um, jack of 
of hearts, which is the Knight of Cups. And so I feel like you're going to get some sort of a um, an opportunity or somebody's going to ask you to be their girlfriend, be their boyfriend. Can we just do this with each other to the exclusion of all other people? It's like becoming exclusive with someone. And I think that you're going to make the decision to leave something behind because in the future I see you sort of flying, I want to say, taking flight, leaving whatever's heavy behind you because of something that you've laid to rest. All right. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra, please, for the week ahead. Tell me about Libra. We've got the Hierophant. Somebody's very serious about you. Or you're very serious about someone else. Uh, we do have the Star. Yeah, you know, the Hierophant with the Star for me is, you're the only one for me. I don't see anybody else. I don't see anybody else fulfilling the wishes that I have set out. Um, and I feel like somebody has, has made a decision within the self. It feels like we've got, you know, the four... You've got the, the thing over this this uh, Hierophant's head. We've got the four, um, I guess, posts, I suppose we could call them. And it does feel like somebody is protected, I want to say, protected by the universe, but also somebody who has a knowing, somebody who is uh, ready to bring their stability to someone else or share their stability. The Hierophant is someone who always does the right thing, who makes good decisions. This person is on a particular path and they want to find somebody to bring on the path with them. And I think with the star and the Hierophant that somebody just sees nobody but you or you see nobody but them. Like it feels like it's got to be, it's got to be the person that I think it is because I, I just don't see that anybody else is going to fit the bill here. Tell me more about Libra. You're listening to the higher self, Libra, in order to make this decision. We do have the Eight of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you want to make someone your queen, whether they are feminine or masculine, that you want to share your wealth with someone or they want to share it with you. It feels like it was a decision that had to be made. It was something that somebody was thinking about for a while. And um, it feels like someone sees you or you see someone else as very stable, very grounded, someone who is, um, who is very loyal, someone who will be loyal to the end, I want to say. Someone who is actually quite healed, someone who has, um, you know, when, when, you, when you say things of importance or things that come up in a situation that maybe, maybe it's a hard situation with the Ten of Wands here, it feels like you find the kindest way to say it or the most balanced way to say it, the most healed way to say it, that you're the person who can always bring a situation of Three of Swords, which is, you know, um, angst or maybe... Um, um, uh, disappointment or heartbreak. You're the person who's holding the Ace of Swords. You can see that this person is holding the Ace of Swords. There's also the Knight of Swords. You can see it's up in the corner here. So it almost like you you come to the rescue with your, your words. You're the one who's very balanced and you're very um, solid. You're dependable. You're a person who doesn't excite easily, like who doesn't, um, who doesn't lose their mind on people. It feels like... Um, I want to say that there is somebody here who I feel like as I'm reading this right now is currently trying to make a decision of whom they want to pick to be their queen. So whether you are the feminine or the masculine, you could be the queen. Don't get confused by the pictures on the cards. Um, it does feel like somebody is about to approach you who's been trying to build a bridge with you to see if you are interested in them that way. It feels like with the house and this cage, you can see... The cage here has um, a rose at the center. This person has decided to go, um, it, if it feels, they've decided to go with the situation a little bit different. If it feels to you like this person's not interested in you, I want to say that's because that this person, I feel Libra, um, is someone who leaves the cage door open. That's how they love. They're going to give you freedom. They're not going to put you on a schedule, make you text morning and night. They're not going to, they're, they're not going to impose on your freedom. I feel like you're someone who loves freely, so you're not going to impose, um, you're not going to lock them away in a cage, right? Um, I feel like 
this person knows that you have the key, but that you leave the cage door open. So whatever, whenever they want to come back, they're free to come back. But if they don't, it's okay. It's a very free way to love Libra. And you know, that, that kind of attracts for Libra. It's like, you're, you're not ready. You're not telling anybody that they have to follow you, but I feel like you are the leader. This could be flipped. Take it as it resonates. Maybe it's them, but you are the leader. You're the one that people can trust to do the right thing. And I feel like you, you don't see anybody else but this person with you. So whether you're the feminine or the masculine, you've already been accounted for in this reading. Tell me about this message, please. Tell me about this message, please, for Libra. You might be receiving or sending a message. We do have the Knight of Cups here, so it is something that has to do with feelings. There we go. We have the Lovers. Two of Swords. Someone's making a decision. Someone who is now finally seeing the situ situation for what it is, is about to make a decision. Let's look at this. Wow, 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 wow. The two of cups and the lovers. Somebody's making a decision. It feels like this person now realizes that there's no one else for them but you. Look, this could be something that you're not aware of, but this person is actually quite well off. There's this is a great big house here. And I think it's because um, life has been good to them because they make good decisions because they're a person who helps people. They're a person who does the right thing. They're very moral, very solid. They're a person that everybody can count on. I feel like you're if you are the Libra who is waiting for the message, I feel like this person is going to change your life in a material way, but I don't think you've ever been loved like this before. This is somebody who is going to exchange cups with you. They want to get married. They want to have a permanent relationship with you, and they don't see that anyone else is, is fit the, would fit that kind of bill. I feel like this is someone who's been sent for you, and I feel like they are making a choice. They're choosing you. Tell me more about uh, Libra, please. could be an Aquarius. It could be a Taurus. doesn't have to be. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we've got the, it could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We've got the Knight of Wands here. I feel like for some of you, if you're, if you're on this timeline and this sounds like something that you've been dealing with already, if this sounds right to you, I feel like for you that this, that there is some sort of an opportunity that's going to be showing up. If you felt that somebody was in their head and not being able to make a decision about you, I feel like that is something that they're making a decision about probably this weekend. And you might hear about it in the week ahead. Somebody's very serious about you very much or you're very serious about someone i feel like someone here has decided that there's no more deliberation i think i know what i want what i want is stability happiness celebration i want a family everybody under one roof come celebrate with me it's like this is a you know we've got all the cards out here that indicates that this is a very deep soulmate connection so we've got the four of wands the 11 11 we've got the lovers card and the two of cups look there's no way that you're going to say no to this or that they're going to say no to you i think that this is going to end up in quite a beautiful union and i think for some of you it's going to be a very passionate yet stable union for some of you maybe you've been in a situation ship with this person up till now right for me when i see earth and fire together especially when the night it's only when the knight of wands is involved when i see earth with the knight of wands it's like this could have been a friends with benefits situation i feel like someone's choosing you if that's the situation it feels like someone's choosing you or you're choosing to just go with one person you've decided to exclude all others yeah temperance is here you want to get some balance it feels like this is the moment of alchemy you've probably been getting sign synchronicities from the universe here it does feel like you've been really patient so somebody here has been waiting for the right person and maybe it's taken years but you've been waiting for the right person because it feels like somebody here is not doesn't just want to hit it and quit it they want something that is going to be long term and it's going to last right with the hierophant energy we've got the seven of swords and we have the nine of swords so i do feel like um if you have a little bit of um, worry, I'm going to say, um, maybe you've got a, you're a little bit anxious about what might happen in the future. It's because you don't know what's going on. The Seven of Swords is here, which is telling me something's being concealed. What's being concealed from you is the moment of alchemy. So you could be the person who's being approached by this person who I feel might be the emperor. Um, and if you are, I feel like I feel like it, it's the reason you're worrying is because you don't know what the decision is going to be. And I feel like your feelings are the same. We're mirroring our energy. This, your feelings are the same for them as it is for you. And you're like, it's got to be me. I, I feel like it's got to be me that they're, that they're wanting to move forward with here. Tell me about this uh, four of wands. 
Yeah, it is. We've got the, well, jeez, everything's about to change here. Everything's about to change. If I'm speaking to someone who's been sitting in a comfort zone and not been dating and not been on the apps and I'm just waiting, you know, just by simply by being social, getting out and being social here, that's how I'm finding my next person. I think you found the next person. And um, I feel like they might be concealing that from you, that maybe they're a little bit more serious about you than you thought that they were. And um, we do have the Knight of Cups, which is the slow moving, um, beautiful, romantic energy. And it's going to change everything. It's going to, you know, something that you've had your eye on for a while here. I've got the Four of Cups. I always see this Four of Cups different than I see the others because it feels like that maybe somebody... Um, you know, was in a relationship and now they're single. That's how I see this particular one. And somebody's had their eye on you for a while. So it does feel like everything's about to change. Tell me what the outcome is here, please, for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You're leaving an old life behind. That's what it feels like. I'll be surprised if the world card shows up, but you are leaving an old life behind here. You're going into, you're going to be moving into like this castle mansion. It feels like something, like you're moving into a very fortunate um, material wealth kind of energy with somebody. We do have the uh, seven of wands. We have the nine of cups and we have the six of swords. There you go. Moving toward your wish fulfillment. It's really beautiful. This is a really beautiful reading for you, Libra. And uh, we do have the seven of wands. So it does feel like somebody is finally going to declare themselves, let it be known. They're going to stand up for themselves and say, look, I know you've got a lot of attention from other people, but I'm this person's going to fight over you if they have to. That's what it feels like. Or you're going to fight over someone else. But the six of swords is moving directly towards the nine of cups. And that's really beautiful. You're about to leave behind something really heavy for a brand new life. That's what it feels like. Everything's changing. Yeah, the opportunity is showing up here in the 3D face to face. And I feel like there's there's these fives, the two fives. We've got the five of swords and the five of cups. That's quick change for me. So I feel like you've been maybe in this energy of I'm never going to find anybody who's like knows my lifestyle, wants my lifestyle, somebody that I can agree with on all things. It feels like you've been feeling kind of sad that things aren't working out for you. But I feel like this is changing quickly and it's bringing in the ace of swords. It's a realization, a triumphant moment of clarity that whatever you wanted is finally here. You've been strong enough and you've now made it to the next cycle, which I feel begins small, but is going to be huge. It's going to snowball pretty darn quickly because everything's about to change. The universe says, when the Wheel of Fortune shows up, everything's about to roll forward, my friend. You better hang on for dear life because uh, things are about to change for you in a very beautiful and fortunate way. I'm going to go for now. Thank you, Libra, for being here and watching. I do appreciate you. I'm going to be back, of course, because I'm always back. I'll be back with a, a bonus reading for you later on the weekend. You guys take care. Love you. Bye-bye.